How do hands work? I've talked to a lot of artists of different age levels and skill levels, and they all seem to agree on one thing. Drawing hands is terrifying. You have this weird shape here. Uh, is it a is it a rectangle? Is it a, is it a circle? Is it an oval? What is it? No one seems to agree on that. And then it goes off into these little sausage extensions, which never come out right. If you draw them too long and thin, they look like Slender Man. You draw them too stubby and it looks like you just lopped off an entire knuckle bone. And don't even get me started on thumbs. What are you? Unlike the other fingers, which have three knuckles, the thumb only has the two. Unless, of course, you count the one that connects kind of here by the wrist as its own knuckle, which would make this entire section here its own finger without the webbing here. But you do have the webbing here. So is it three knuckles or is it two? How do you draw these? Why does, why can't hands make, why? I have a question for the god. Why? I learned mostly how to draw by tracing Marvel comics, uh, which has led to mixed results. I, I can't draw skinny guys. My self portraits never work. Um, I get frustrated and then I turn into the Hulk. And the self-portrait doesn't turn out good either. Uh, anyway, in the Marvel comic books that I have, the way that they drew fists is pretty simple. You basically, the fist is coming at you like this, and they draw it like it's the letter E, but with an extra nubbin at the end. Then they add in the thumb. And then you just have to draw on the forearm, which is its own terrifying process that I'll have to get into some other time. What I found was the most helpful was how they tend to draw hands in general. They always tend to have a couple of fingers put together and just going from trying to draw five fingers to just drawing four, for some reason, was very helpful. But the first thing to note is how the hand sprouts from the wrist. It starts off simply enough. The first thing that I had to keep in mind is that the part where the thumb connects to the wrist with that weird joint I mentioned earlier, when standing upright is about a 45 degree angle depending on how open the thumb is while the bottom part of the hand really doesn't go that far at all this allows me to draw the hand itself basically as a rectangle but with this triangular chunk out here for the start of the thumb by putting two of the fingers together helps divvy up how the hand goes uh, when drawing the middle two fingers you draw the large sausage chunk at a bit of a sharp angle and then simply divide it later on to create the two fingers. Then it's just a matter of drawing in all the lines, which if you had meat on your hands, unlike I do, might actually be visible. Drawing a finger gun is much the same, except it just depends on how tight your fist is. Now if you tried all that and your hands still look like detached sausages connected loosely to some flesh bag, it, it, yeah, it, it took me a lot of tries to get to that and even these hands aren't that good. What I've noticed is for a lot of artwork in general, it's not how good your first draft is, it's how good you can continue to shade it until it starts to look like it's intentional. I hope that helped you, and if it didn't, well, drawing hands is still terrifying to me. Thanks for watching this video. If it helped you, please leave a like and a comment, and comment more things you think are terrifying to draw, then maybe I'll cover them in a future video, because I guarantee you they terrify me to draw too. Oh boy, faces. I can draw a face, I just can't draw the same one twice. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, it really helps me out, but what really helps me out is donating to my Patreon. Link in the description below. Please give me money. I want to hire an editor so I don't have to edit these videos myself. It is so boring. Bye.